Welcome to my channel. This is Esra. Since we are in October now, uh, in this video I'll be sharing some easy, fun and nutritious Halloween breakfast ideas for October weekends. And I'm pretty sure my daughters will get into the Halloween spirit when they see this breakfast. Um, I did a little bit of planning, of course, and I have a menu uh, with my very fancy dancy handwriting. Um, let me show you. Okay, here's my menu. The best part of this fun menu is I'll be using the same fresh ingredients that we always have for our Sunday breakfasts. The first item, the rolls, in my menu requires some simple baking that I'm going to be doing ahead of time because it is super freezer friendly. As I always do, my plan is to bake tons at once and freeze. Then we'll enjoy them for the entire month. Okay. I'll be baking today, Saturday, the rest of the Sunday breakfast menu. Um, I'll prep them tomorrow since they are super easy, but you'll see everything in this video. Okay, other than rolls, um, we'll have uh, fresh fruit and tomato platters that I'll shape them like pumpkins. I have boiled egg ghosts. I'll make some cheese ghosts as well. Uh, last but not least is our favorite super simple roasted potatoes with some herbs. That's pretty much it. You can easily substitute things or extend this list if you'd like. Okay, let me quickly grab my baking ingredients for the rolls, then we'll get started. Okay, I think I grabbed everything I need. Let me quickly go through the ingredients we need for the pumpkin shaped rolls. Then we'll get the dough going. For this recipe, I use nine, 10 cups of all purpose flour, two packs of instant yeast. So they are seven gram each. Of course, we need some salt and I'll be using two tablespoons. I have three whole eggs for the dough and uh, one or two egg yolks for the egg wash for later and some extra virgin olive oil half a cup of sugar half a steak or four tablespoons of room temperature butter um, two to three cups of lukewarm water i already microwaved water um, for about 30 45 seconds just test the temperature with your finger Dip it. If you do not feel your finger in the water, then you're good to go. This is something that I have been baking almost forever now, and I eyeball almost everything. But I'll be adding the list with ingredients and the measurements down in the description. And let me assure you, this is not a rocket science, or, or this is not one of those intimidating baking challenges. This is just the opposite, completely achievable. You can, of course, go a little bit over or under with the measurements, not too much though, <laughs> and you will still be perfectly fine. Okay, time to mix the dough. Okay, here I'm adding my all-purpose flour, and then we'll be adding all the rest of the ingredients. There is no order for adding them. You literally can dump everything at once. After adding all the ingredients, I let my KitchenAid do its thing uh, and mix for about 7 to 8 minutes. And again, don't worry for the ingredients and exact measurements. I'll add them down in the description of the video. My mixing is almost done, thanks to my KitchenAid. 
This still needs to rest for a minimum of three hours to you can go all the way up to five to six hours. This is such a forgiving though. Believe me, I tested this many times. It's been five hours. Uh, I was planning to let it rest and rise for about four hours, but today is Saturday and we have a lovely uh, farmer's market uh, here in the peninsula. So I ended up spending more time than I was planning. Okay, so uh, this beautiful doll has been uh, sleeping uh, and then now it's time to wake her up. Whoa, look how fluffy it looks, okay. Let's take the stretch film out and then I'm gonna sprinkle my countertop with a little bit of flour and my hands too. And I will need more flour anyways. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Oh, look how clean it comes out, right? Oh, beautiful. <laughs> It's so therapeutic, at least for me, to play with the dough. But yeah, okay. I'm not gonna play with this too much. I need my knife. Um, I'm gonna cut this into equal pieces. I'm gonna try my best. Um, and then we're gonna make our rolls and then shape them like pumpkins. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have about 24 rolls from 10 cups of flour that we started, right? I'm gonna, I mean, they are not equal sizes, but that's okay. Just do your best. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. This is such an easy and super delicious recipe. Yes, it requires some babysitting with all the rising and baking, but it's all worth it, I promise. And I think I mentioned already, right? These rolls are super freezer friendly. So my plan is, after baking, I will freeze them except five rolls. Those five, of course, we will be enjoying for tomorrow morning's breakfast. And having the frozen ones ready in my freezer will be super convenient for the rest of the October weekends. Oh, they are also so good and convenient for lunch boxes. I'll show you how to shape these rolls into pumpkin. Um, the best way to do it is just using a uh, kitchen scissors. Okay, I'm gonna get the first roll. Make it a little bit more round making sure and then press 
it'll rise anyways, right? So press hard and make it flat. And then I'm gonna use my scissors and cut from the four corners. Do you see it? Okay. This is four pieces, right? I'm gonna make this four piece into eight pieces like this. And also, I just realized, uh, okay, I can use this one a little bit. You can do, or you can just skip this step, you know, I'm too lazy, probably I'm gonna skip for most of them, but you can just put a little bit of dough on the top as a button for the pumpkin. So this is your shape, basically. I'm gonna repeat the same thing for the 24 rolls I have, and then, Put them in my sheets that I prepared like this with the parchment paper on it. Okay. We are done with shaping our rolls. Now it's time to let them uh, rest and rise for the last time. And we're gonna wait about 45 minutes before we bake them. And I, again, I have four sheets, so I'm gonna bake uh, two batches, two sheets at a time. Our pumpkin rolls have rested and risen in the last 45 to 50 minutes. Let's see how they look. This is our first batch. They look very puffy and kind of doubled in size. Looks good. Okay. Let's prepare egg wash. I have two egg yolks, a couple of tablespoons of milk, and I'll add some salt. This is just the basic egg wash and whisk it. And I'm gonna use this for all the four trays baking sheets I have. So for the first batch, I'm gonna be using the just the half of it. Okay, Jadosh. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna be quiet, okay? I'm gonna be quick. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gently brushing the egg wash onto the rolls. I preheated my oven to 375 Fahrenheit. I usually bake them 
for about 35 minutes or so till they are deep golden brown. Now I'll transfer my first batch to the oven. Good morning! It's early in the morning today and today is Sunday. After yesterday's baking, it's time to prep our Halloween themed Sunday breakfast, which is full of fresh, nutritious ingredients. And they are super easy and super fun to prepare. As you see, I already started my fruit platter. I got these delicious white peaches from our local organic farmer's market yesterday. And of course, I'm not gonna even waste my fruit scraps. I'll make a delicious peach tea from these scraps for my daughters. I also got scrumptious organic tomatoes that I'll be using for the tomato platter after this. You don't even need a recipe for this breakfast. You'll see everything is pretty self-explanatory. Just watch, hopefully you'll get inspired and create your own easy menu.
Bon Appetit!